Ladies and gentlemen, hit subscribe to this channel right now. This is actually very huge, and I'll tell you why. If Michael Avenatti testifies against Daniels and Cohen, the case, even in New York, could completely implode. First of all, these are misdemeanors that are elevated to a felony for some phantom invisible crime. The FEC fined Clinton and the DNC for purchasing the Steele dossier. They did not find Trump. These are only misdemeanors, and Michael Cohen, in a recent interview on MSNBC, stated they're trying everything to go after Trump. And in this article, the Daily Beast says, yeah, um, this is only going to catapult Trump into the Oval Office. Trump will win. He might very well be convicted in New York. The, the conviction will be overturned by the uh, appeals court in New York or the Supreme Court. He'll get a huge Supreme Court immunity victory, and I'll talk about that all throughout this week and the coming weeks on this channel via live stream. But I wanted to do this uh, video really quickly because I wanted you to hear Michael Avenatti and his testimony. So Michael Avenatti is going to testify... And it'll sound like this. He's already in talks with Trump's legal team. If he's able to testify, he will tell the jury and the court and the judge the following. He lied for months on end, is neither a hero. Let me be clear. Michael Cohen is neither a hero nor a patriot. He lied for months on end about his criminal conduct and the role of the President of the United States. He lied in March, he lied in April, he lied in May, he lied in June, he lied in July, and only until his back was against the wall and he faced significant prison time did he decide to, quote, come clean. He even lied to the office of the special counsel in July of this year. Michael Cohen is no hero. He is no patriot. His choice time and time again was to degrade my client, seek to intimidate her, call her and me liars, and seek to degrade the office of the presidency of the United States by seeking to buy effectively. So you're going to get that, which is going to contradict the absurd nonsense that uh, Michael Cohen and Daniels uh, tell the court if they, when they test him, testify. So Cohen will testify for sure. Daniels might. But the issue is, is a misdemeanor. See, they couldn't really get Trump on anything. They still can't. He's going to get a victory in terms of presidential immunity for a speech. And I've been talking about that. I told everybody on this channel he'll get, he'd get a 9-0 Supreme Court victory. And he did. By the way, um, a little side of me that you might enjoy. I lift heavy weights as a hobby. Go to the gym. It's enjoyable. Um, I did 315-pound deadlift the other day. That's a short. I bench pressed 110 pound dumbbells and i incline pressed 90 pound dumbbells those are all shorts on this channel hit subscribe um you might enjoy the shorts but that's in addition to the uh, political analysis that you might enjoy um but if you don't enjoy it and you're a morally superior highly educated liberal democrat ask yourself why biden didn't get indicted even though what he did was infinitely worse than anything Trump did as a president with the power to declassify. The special counsel, for example, stated that, well, you know, there are cognitive issues and no reasonable prosecutors or court would uh, indict or convict an elderly uh, former president or current president because um, memory issues and other, uh, you know, is a well-meaning individual. They always... Um, add the word reasonable. These are value judgments. These are value statements. These are based on the sensibilities of people like the Honorable James Comey or uh, the current special counsel that was looking at Biden's 
um, classified data fiasco where he had classified data in five or six different locations and he didn't have the power to declassify them. Okay, my point is Trump is being indicted. They want to imprison him for hundreds of years. He won't even face even one second in jail or prison. But this is a failed attempt at interfering in 24. And you can see that Avenatti knows what he wants a pardon. So that's number one, because he was convicted um, uh, for federal crimes, extorting Nike. Um, he'll get that pardon if it works out and the case completely implodes because um, what he stated uh, regarding Michael Cohen is that Cohen lied all the time. He's not, a, not only is he not a credible witness, but he lies all the time. The only reason they turned on Trump was because um, he committed actual financial crimes, just like Avenatti did. And the issue is Michael Cohen used his own money in a home equity loan, something like this, a line of credit, something like that, to start a new corporation completely separate from Trump's companies paid Stormy in a non-disclosure agreement that said if Stormy broke the contract, she'd owe $20 million. Then New York, in a desperate attempt at trying to imprison Biden's direct political rival, or I think Hillary Clinton is very likely somebody, but Hillary, I think Hillary is just waiting to take over for Biden. Uh, but I don't see, um, I see them switching horses. But anyway, if you look, this is a misdemeanor where the statute of limitations have, has run out. The key witnesses are liars. In Stormy's case, she initially denied what took place. And now listen to what she thinks of Michael Cohen. For years, Mr. Cohen has acted like he is above the law. He has considered himself and openly referred to himself as Mr. Trump's fixer. He has played by a different set of rules, or should we say no rules at all. He has never thought that the little man, or especially women, and even more women like me, mattered. That ends now. My attorney and I are committed to making sure that everyone finds out the truth and the facts of what happened. And I give my word that we will not rest until that happens. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This, that, those are just two examples of, in 2018, Avenatti and Daniels stating that Michael Cohen um, is lack, not only lacks credibility, but lies all the time and actually went after and tried to disparage and uh, make uh, Daniels' life miserable. So Cohen and Daniels, have now teamed up after years of opposing one another. Avenatti, interestingly enough, is hilarious, says the word turncoat here, but it's really funny. So Avenatti is going to testify that Michael Cohen is somebody who commits perjury all the time, lacks credibility. I mean, you could just listen to this again. This is exactly what he could testify to a New York court in a couple of days. Trump, let me be clear. Michael Cohen is neither a hero nor a patriot. He lied for months on end about his criminal conduct and the role of the President of the United States. He lied in March, he lied in April, he lied in May, he lied in June, he lied in July, and only until his back was against the wall and he faced significant prison time did he decide to, quote, come clean. He even lied to the office of the special counsel in July of this year. Michael Cohen is no hero. He is no patriot. His choice time and time again was to degrade my client, seek to intimidate her, Call her and me liars. So Michael Cohen apparently lied to um, Mueller and then tried to intimidate Daniels. And then also, according to a judge recently, is embroiled uh, in potential perjury charges from uh, the latest reports on Michael Cohen and his truthfulness anyway. 
Avenatti testifies the case implodes. Trump's going to win regardless uh, whether or not he gets convicted. Um, it'll be very interesting to hear, hopefully, Avenatti uh, go to bat for Trump because Democrats are doing the exact thing, acting in the most despotic, tyrannical, authoritarian manner, going after direct political rivals. They tried to ban him in Colorado, which is what, what a, a despot does. And it didn't work. I said it would be a 9-0 Supreme Court victory. Watch the Supreme Court victory with presidential immunity, ladies and gentlemen. This is huge. Avani could completely implode the New York case against Trump. Hit subscribe. Thank you so very, very much.